All right, with this assignment, we're looking at photosynthesis and we want to consider, you know, what do we know about it? As we consider this and we think, okay, what do plants need? We quickly come to the conclusion that plants need light. They need sunlight. Now, in the past, we learned that sunlight, also called electromagnetic radiation, comes in different wavelengths or frequencies and that those frequencies correspond to the different kinds of light, like radio, microwave, infrared, etc. So what I want you to do is, I was pondering on this, I decided we wanted to do an experiment. I want you to come up with an uh, experiment that could be done looking at which colors of light provide energy for a plant to grow. Now that you've considered what experiment you could do involving plant growth and different colors of light, I've performed an experiment as well. I'm going to show you the results here. As I do, you want to write down in the slides uh, what sort of plant growth and results we had from these different colors of light. So we're going to start here. This was our control, which was the no color option. Okay. Okay, and we can see we've got our plant growing but there's not a whole lot of growth there in our, in our flower. Okay, so that's the no light control. Okay, here is purple. This is our purple light. Okay. Move that over. There's our purple light flower. None of these were bloomed, of course, but they are all flowers. Then, here's green, a green light. You can see, it doesn't seem quite as big as the purple one. Okay, moving over. This is red, a red light. Pull that up. It's our red light option. A lot of stems on that one. This is blue light. There's your blue light and its growth. Now this next one's interesting. This one's ultraviolet. Okay. There's our ultraviolet. You'll notice the stems are really long on this one, but the petals are very small. Very small leaves. I guess they're not petals, but leaves. our yellow light. Whew. That one's our biggest one yet. Best petal size, plant size. Okay. Record your observation there in the slides. Now that you've looked at the different plants, I want you to have filled out this top data table with some observations you made about them. I want you to consider what can be learned from this experiment. Can plants use all types of light for photosynthesis? And then consider what kind of energy do plants convert electromagnetic radiation into. From this experiment, we should have a few key things we've noticed. First of all, our control, or no light option, was not doing very well. That was then followed by the green light option. It wasn't doing very well either. Maybe we can consider why green light in particular wouldn't do well. The others were all pretty similar. Ultraviolet was interesting with its small petals and long stems. Yellow seemed to be the tallest. Then, uh, looking at that then, we can say that plants do use pretty much all these different types of light. And then they then convert that into the energy that's stored in their food. We call that chemical energy. To finish off this assignment, I want you to make a model of photosynthesis or edit your model from the assignment Growing the Unknown to include electromagnetic radiation, or light energy, converting into chemical energy.